Let's come together now in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we are recommitted, rededicated. Lord, we bring before you our lives once again. Not perfect, not right, but in Christ's love, we in awe feel the power of what it means to be made right to be corrected, to be guided again, to be restored, to be living in grace. And Lord, we pray for those who deny this, who set it aside, who seek self-righteousness over your righteousness. It comes from love, that comes from your sacrifice. Lord, there is not enough that we can do. There is not enough goodness we can offer. There is not enough rightness in us that can come close to the glory and the peace that is in Christ. He is our Lord. We confess that here before you this day as we give thanks and praise for all his, all his sacrifice has done, all that has been taken away from us, all that no longer marks who we are. We are not recognized by our sin, Lord. We are upheld in your grace and your glory. Lord, we pray for a world so short-sighted it can't see past skin. It can't see past culture. It can't see past languages. Lord, you transcend all these things. And yet you give them all purpose that we, in our differences, might learn to understand beauty. And appreciating differences might learn discernment, grace, wonder, and our own place in amidst the, the whole workings of your holy kingdom in heaven and even as we seek your kingdom here on earth. Lord, we pray for the work of your kingdom in your church throughout the world in the many ways that it is struggling right now, especially even just to meet. Lord, we pray for those congregations that are meeting, that are trying to figure out a system that is safe for people. Lord, we pray for those congregations that are being careless that think that they can put you to the test in the face of a world pandemic. Lord, we pray against such self-righteousness, but Lord, we pray for grace and understanding that in that fellowship they will pause and be humbled and seek to serve and glorify you and not themselves. Lord, we pray for your church throughout the world that can't meet, that can't come together for worship as we do, Lord, we pray for those that are gathering online like us, the, the, those ministers that are putting the extra hours to try and put together online services, the ministry teams that are having to readjust and reevaluate how they minister, the wonderful praise groups that have produced for, for, for public release, for sharing throughout the church such wonderful pieces of music. Old music, new music, it's all coming together as a beautiful song when so many congregations can't sing together, they can hear the voices of others singing before them as a great choir of witnesses surrounding us. Lord, we recognize our place in your kingdom that sings praise together. We, we look for opportunities in our homes, in our bubbles to praise you, to pray with others, to share your word. Lord, help us to, to be more diligent in our devotions, to be engaged in our communities, in helping one another and reaching out to those that may be shut in, that may be especially isolated, especially those that, that, are, that, are, immunized, that are compromised in their immunity. Lord, we pray for those that are in hospital, that there are other di diseases and conditions that continue, that persevere, that cause people to struggle. Lord, there are people still dying of cancer. There are people still dying of malaria. There, there is an Ebola outbreak in Africa again. There are people that are struggling because of, of, of famines. There are people struggling because of poor governments and greed. Lord, even our greed. Lord, as we scrounge for supplies to, to hold off the second wave, let us be mindful of the needs of others. Let us be careful and, and caring about our neighbors. Let us look to our community and our place within it and find the opportunities to serve, to bless one another with the love that we enjoy in our lives. 
that they might see Christ in us, that it might be that people can say that Christ is among us all. Oh Lord, that is the joy. For we, that's the day we look forward to, the day when Christ will stand amongst us all and it will be your day, your great day of glory. Lord, let our joy begin. Let our joy continue and our celebration never end as we live to your kingdom, to your glory and praise, now and forever we pray. In Christ our Lord, amen.